What's up, YouTube? It's Ink Legend Russ, and today I'm here with another My Nintendo Reward unboxing. As you can see here, it's been a little while since I did a My Nintendo Reward unboxing on this channel. It's been about maybe about six months, but you know, it takes a little while between gathering point codes and um, gaining platinum go uh, platinum points to get these rewards and a whole bunch of things between now and then, and then a lot of things kind of went in and out of stock, but in it's been a while in the making, so let's go ahead and get into this unboxing. I'm sorry if my voice doesn't sound as crisp as it normally is in my videos. I kind of got a little cold, so kind of forgive me on my end. But let's go ahead and get this video out the way. So first things first, just go ahead and um, get the box open and see what we got going on in here. I kind of loosened it up already just to make this somewhat easier. So, um... First things first, let's see what we got. Let's set this here. We got the Splatoon 3 Splatsville shopping bag. This is what this is. So, yeah, let's go ahead and get into this real quick and see what it's looking like. Let's see if this says, gives us any details. Splatoon 3. I'm kind of upset that there wasn't a Xenoblade 3 reward, but, um,. I know there's a Kirby one that's coming out, but I may not get that one by the time this video is already uploaded. So, I mean, this shopping bag looks good. I mean, it's definitely big, really big. I'm going to move my tripod uh, tripod around just to show show how big the whole bag is and everything. But um, here goes the bag, and I'll go to see if there's any inside art or details. It's a, you know... I don't know if it's 800 points worthy, but I mean this this makes it this makes a decent bag. I'm gonna just go with that. I'm gonna set that right to the side of me. And most of these rewards will be duplicates, but um, I guess my stickers are a little bent. But um, these are the Splatoon 3 graffiti sticker sets. So let's see what we got inside these. Okay. Uh, I guess it don't make it easy to um, open up. So I'm going to just go ahead and open it for myself so I can show it off on my videos. Here we go. This is what we get. So here's the first page right here with stickers. If you're a big Splatoon fan, I feel like you should get like maybe this type of stuff. You know, you can decorate anything of sorts i have yet to play even though i already unboxed it already by the time of this video i may have put like a couple hours into it i can't be too certain but um here's the graffiti set I'm set that there next thing up is the fire emblem warriors three hopes memo pad so it should be pretty similar to the um, Age of Calamity mem memo pad. I don't know why. Um, I don't know why a lot of these um, Koei Tecmo Warrior games get memo pads. I have no clue. I mean, it's nice to get rewards, unlike Xenoblade. I mean, kind of disappointing, but just shows you what the back, I guess, looks like, or the front. Excuse me. I'm going to say maybe it's like a hundred pages in between each of them. Um, let's see. It has the different characters, of course. I'm sure a lot of the characters cycle through. Nothing really interesting, to be honest. Like I said, I think this was like 400 points, maybe 600. That's usually what these rewards go for. Next thing up is... is um, I picked up another one of these. I know if my guy... um. My a good friend of mine and a good friend of the channel, Mike Will. I know he might be upset looking at this. He's probably cringing on his screen. But yes, I picked up another DC Superhero Girls Teen Power Drawstring Bag. That's what it's called on here. I picked it up for my sister. I just, you know, I think it's like, what, 400 points, 600, some shit like that. So I know he's probably cringing at me just unboxing this, but... um. I already unboxed it, but um, here's the front of it. Here's the back. 
Nothing to it. It's a drawstring bag. Drawstring bags usually aren't the best and the most reliable bags. Okay. Now, here's a reward I've been looking to get for a little bit now. This, I believe, is the um, Nintendo Switch Sports. The, um, I'm going to call it the... It's the, it's the towel. It's the towel, basically. So let's go ahead and see how we open this one up. Um, here we go. Here we go. I actually thought that they were going to send a towel, but it's kind of like a rag, at least to me. It feels like a rag. And now I'm just trying to just figure out how to open it up. On my end, it's hard with the gloves, but I like wearing the gloves in my videos for anybody asking just my type of style when it comes to these unboxings. Let me move this to the side. Let's see. We'll move the box. Yeah, I mean, I guess I guess it does its job. I guess it does its job. I'm gonna just go ahead and show it off of here. I mean, you fold it up. I mean, it would be a decorative item, nothing that I would personally use for my body or anybody else's, but definitely as a decorative item, for sure. Maybe, I mean, this could have been maybe a promotional or pre-order item. Definitely not the best type of item. The next item I got, and it's another drawstring bag. It's the Super Mario, it's, I say Super Mario. The Mario Strikers Battle League drawstring bag. Definitely one that I would use personally, but I would probably wait to get another one in the future just because I always like keeping at least one of these items. And then maybe in the future, if it's still available, I'll try to buy one off screen. And then when I do another My Nintendo unboxing in maybe three months, four, it'd be something that like I could obviously use off-handed like in my day-to-day -day in real life but um this is what you get front and back definitely better than the um dc superheroes bag i'm gonna set that one to the side and i got i believe i got a couple more things here let's see what we got let's see i got like three things here one of them is new so I'm going to go ahead and get this one out the way. This is the um, Animal Crossing New Horizons The Roost 3-pack coasters with a 10. Definitely something I would use, like I said, for myself. But obviously as a promotional item, I would keep it. So here's the, here's the coasters. I think they're all the same. Yeah, they're kind of flimsy. I mean, like I said, I mean, they're coasters. I mean, there's three of them. I mean, it's nice to keep, you know, if you're a fan of Brewster or anybody from Animal Crossing, I highly suggest you should check it out. Um, there's nothing on the back. Like I said, it's all right. It's an all right promotional item. Not the worst, of course, but something I've been looking to get. And two more items. I already did this on the video, on one video before my Nintendo unboxing, but this is the Pokemon uh, phone ring holder for Team Galactic. I'm going to put that on my phone or someone's phone or just keep it. I mean, I already have one. And last but not least of the my Nintendo rewards before I show off something else I bought would be the Pokemon Legends Arceus Galaxy Expedition Team and Pokemon Pokeball, excuse me, cable, cable strap. No need to explain. Here's the back of it. And last but not least, I bought an extra HDMI cable from Nintendo because why the heck not? I felt like I needed one. And considering all the switches I currently own, I own basically three switches, three Nintendo switches. I'm also including my Animal Crossing one that I bought for my sister. And that's about it. I'm going to go ahead and leave the video off like this. So like and subscribe, guys. And as always, say, have a nice goddamn day. Goodbye.